Hello friends, welcome to the Alpha Point. I'm Vishal and today the ROM that we are going to look on Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is a Hillcat version. So it is based on Android KitKat 4.4.2. It is the latest build of 9th January 2014. So let's see what are the features inside this ROM here. So let's before starting I would just like to tell you that this ROM is very smooth. The opening of any application is almost less than all of the ROM available for Note 2. It is stored everything in Sashay and it opens any application better than any of the other app ROM available for this device. So let's start with the home screen. The first feature of the Android KitKat is the Google Now. We just need to say OK Google in the home screen but this feature is not working in this ROM. This is the only feature that I couldn't get it work properly there were other features were not working properly but this has been solved over the period of updates the latest update has resolved many problems over the the last update so let's start with the home screen we have default five home screen we can't add or remove any of the home screen the third one is the default home screen we just need to press and hold to select the wallpapers like if in any other wrong these are the settings in the menu bar let's see the call or button so in the android kitkat you may have know that it will categorize or categorize the frequent calls that you make it will categorize the persons or the contacts that we call frequently it will just optimize it here this is the dialog this is the history of the calls options here we can see the settings here this is completely white but we can change it to black just go to settings and change dark hellcat and everything will go in go black in the background if you see it has gone completely black with white text the messaging application also went black everything has went black even the background of settings has went blank from almost gray to complete black and every background where the default background was white has changed to into black color let's see the notification bar if we swipe from middle there is some problem like if we swipe from left it will right it will show the all the notifications options notification settings but if and it first right from middle or from the left bar we can see the options here but there is no notification right it will not show there so sometimes it just show all the notification even if you swipe from the right top so swipe from here and see can we can see the settings here the google connection the google, google account uh, image will show there the brightness settings you you can go settings right from here your Wi-Fi, ASL, your mobile network, your GPS, torch, battery, airplane mode, bluetooth and your timer you, if you if you and timer it is not timer it is just alarm it will show the the recent alarm that will be coming if we click on the time it will not open any application right now but if we click on the date it will show the calendar the calendar has also gone black in the background now see the lock screen in lock screen we have the default shortcuts to open the browser call up button or the music player messaging application or just unlock it we can change the default application to open like we can change the default browser we can change the default music player we just need to go to the lock screen settings if we swipe from left to right we can add widgets like in the jelly bean from and if we swipe from right to left we can see the camera application coming out so this has been added here this is this rom is based on sanation mod rom uh, over and kitkat so it will have all the features of sanation mod rom now see what other settings has been uh, app drawer for see 
see the app drawer we have the default applications like Apollo music player I have installed the exposed installer to change the DPI settings so I will show it later we have default browser document settings these are the default application that has been provided in this ROM let's see its scores in the benchmarking application and due to it scored 21,574 more than the average score of node 2 so you can see here in the quadrant standard it scored 5,500 and 5,777 so you can see it has a pretty good optimization of this ROM now let's move on we have hello settings in this ROM so here it is we can open application in other application like just I'm going I'm opening the messaging app and if you want to open any other application we need to swipe it here and like I'm gonna open the gallery it will show in a pop-up browser and we can see the gallery here first you need to assign which application you want to open in the hello settings I have assigned three applications the file manager the gallery applications and the messaging application uh, and what are the other features the main feature of the hello app um, widget is like opening the notification if there is an incoming message or missed call it will show there it will just come out and uh, show the your status or notifications right now there is no notification that's why it is not showing any we can hide it by clicking there which is and there are other settings like hold it down and it will show the other notifications here we can change its position to so as you can see we can change its position by double clicking and keep on pressing and drag it the place where you want to place this now see in settings what are the application where that has been provided here settings that has been provided here so these are settings that is provided Wi-Fi Bluetooth data the normal settings here Wi-Fi tethering is working completely fine the interface settings like health cat interface where you can change the DPI settings status bar battery settings and other settings you can change your notification drawer you can expand desktop make it full screen and hide the status bar here you can add the navigation bar at the bottom so I'm gonna remove this right now we can see the navigation bar here we have the lock screen settings so see the lock screen uh, option that has been provided here pattern pin so these are option has been provided here we have default one themes of sanation mod from sound setting display settings we can change the what these buttons do we can change the settings of volume button or the home button and add options in the power button the application settings battery battery backup of this rom is very good but if i sh open this application uh, settings right now you can see i have charged it many times almost five days but it will not show exactly how much it uses but to me it will give around one and half day of battery life on moderate uses and if you don't play any games or don't use internet unless uh, you uh, if you are a moderate user it will give you around one and a half day battery life surely we can have profile profiles locations settings language and input see the languages that has been provided so these are the languages that has been provided pretty good number of languages has been provided in this rom we have default one keyboard which we can take backup and reset default account settings here date and time accessibility we can print the documents right from here developer settings performance you can change the performance you can you can have the on demand power save right now it is safe to default pegasus or what does it pronunciate so it is just the default settings right now so that's it 
from this video so the final verdict on this rom is that it is a purely perfect rom for your note 2 it is almost as good as other rom available almost very smooth but some of the features are missing here but the features which has been provided is completely bug free i am using it from more than 7 8 days i first installed in the first january right now it is almost 11 days i would say right now it is 13th january so almost i have used it around 13 days i have installed different roms of this device first january 5th january 9th january this is a 9th january rom so i'm using it from that day and i have there was a problem in camera application in settings in notification but it has solved there are some bugs in the notification panel and the camera application is working pretty fine there was problem in the previous version in the video camera but it is working almost as fine as it was supposed to there is no photosphere only the panorama and video camera and the camera application so that's it from this video here guys hope you like this and don't forget to like and subscribe and subscribe to get updated with the latest ROM for Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Thank you for watching.